Hello and welcome to this tutorial for finding angles on parallel and intersecting lines. You'll need to know about both of those and you'll need to have pretty good knowledge of your angles on a line and your angles around a point. Uh, knowledge of angles inside a, uh, a quadrilateral are also very useful. Let's see how this works. What we have here are two parallel lines indicated by each of these arrows and what we've also got is a a line that intersects, that uh, crosses over them at an angle that's not perpendicular. And what we can see is that between each of the lines we've got angles around a point. They all relate to one another and it's really just good to know that, uh, that knowledge that an angle on a line equals 180 degrees. Now, the first relationship we'll see is for vertically opposite angles. Now, A is vertically opposite to B and as a result both of those are the same size, so A equals B, and you'll also see that C equals D. And in a different kind of way, um, other vertically opposite angles are E and F. They're vertically opposite to one another, so they'll be the same. E will equal F, A will equal B, and C will equal D. Corresponding angles are also the same as one another. A is corresponding to C, and D is corresponding to to B. So A equals C, B equals D. Alternate angles are also the same as one another. B is an alternate angle to C, but both are the same as one another. Now remembering that angles on a line equal 180 are very useful too. So we know that if B was for instance 70 degrees, I'd know that F equals 110 degrees because the angles on that line would always equal 180. I would also know that E and B make 180 degrees. And I would also know that C and E make 180 degrees. Remembering all of this knowledge about these angles makes it pretty easy I think for you to work out uh, many angles if you're given one piece of information. So let's try one out. Here's a pair of parallel lines and an intersecting line with uh, five angles of which we know A being 150 degrees. So we'll work through these in alphabetical order. We look at B and it's adjacent to A. So A plus B must equal 180 degrees. Straightforward enough, B will equal 30 degrees. You can see there that B and C are opposite angles, so C equals B, so C equals 30 degrees too. C corresponds with E, so E is also going to be worth 30 degrees, so we're not doing it alphabetically. But we can look at D, and D corresponds with the angle that we were given in the first place, so D is going to be worth 150 degrees. Pause this video now to try and find the angles for each of these questions. And underneath you can see that there's a parallelogram. It works in exactly the same way. Use your knowledge of angles on a line and uh, you should find the answers, I think, with relative ease. Best of luck. So let's run through the answers. Here's question A. Angle A corresponds with the 70 degrees that's shown, so that is definitely 70 degrees. And I'll use my knowledge of angles on a line to work out that B, I just need to work up to 180 degrees. And so that would be 110 degrees. Now, question B. 40 degrees is what we're given. We can see that uh, the angle A will be the same, so that's 40 degrees. And I'll know that if that's 40 degrees, then the angle on the other side must add up to A to make 180 degrees. So B is going to be 140 degrees. Uh, B is an opposite angle to C, so C will be just the same, 140 degrees. Over to question C. Uh, we can see uh, the 110 degrees there. Straight away I see 110 degrees as the corresponding angle. Then I look back to B. Uh, I need to add something to 110 to make the 180 degrees that will be on that line. So B is going to be worth 70 degrees. B and A are opposite angles, so A is also going to be worth 70 degrees. And A is corresponding to D. D is also going to be 70 degrees. 
And finally, D, we've got to here 99 degrees. Straight away, look at the at B being an opposite angle, so that'll be 99 degrees. Now, uh, we need to get up to 180 degrees to find A. Now, you might need to do a little bit of working out for this. So you've got 180 degrees, and we need to take away 99. If we take away 90, I'll be left with 90, and take away another 9, we'll leave me with 81 degrees. So A will be 81 degrees. B corresponds with D, so we know that D is 99 degrees, so I'll work out that C is also 81 degrees. Now let's look finally at this parallelogram. 65 degrees is what's given here, so I should know that if I add A and 65 together I'll make 180 degrees. So A is going to be 115 degrees. And that should make finding angles B and C uh, uh, pretty easy. C, you can see pretty much with your eyes, is going to be the same as angle A, 115 degrees, and B is going to be 65 degrees. Mistakes may be caused by um, the addition and subtraction part of it, or if it's not that, then it's the lack of understanding of uh, the relationship between the angles and the line. So go back over the video if you've got any wrong. But if you've got to the end of this video without making any mistakes, well done indeed, and you can try the sheet that uh, we've got set up for you. Well played.